MathTutor.biz and MathDVDs.co.uk Foundation Mathematics Introduction An Introduction to Foundation Mathematics In 2008 the two-tier, two-level GCSE mathematics exam was introduced. The two tiers being GCSE Higher Mathematics and GCSE Foundation Mathematics. The 16 DVDs in the series cover the complete GCSE syllabus and have a total running time of 28 hours. Individual DVDs last around 109 minutes. The series of DVDs have been designed to cover the National Curriculum GCSE Mathematics Syllabus that all GCSE examination boards must follow for the Foundation GCSE Mathematics Examination. However, they are suitable for anyone who wishes to study basic mathematics. The contents of the DVDs are on the website, so you can check to see if the topics are the topics you require to be covered whether you're taking this examination or not. For reference, the average GCSE grades for each topic are also given. Now, they're only an average grade because it also depends on how the question is written. It could be the same topic and the question could be in a different grade because of the difficulty of the way the question is written. So they're only a guide to the grades. The topics in part one are GCSE grade G, so possible suitable for a very, very wide range of those finding basic mathematics difficult. The target grade GCSEs in part 2 are D, E, F and G, so the topics cover a wider difficulty range, but still suitable for a wide range of students. Other parts cover similar GCSE grades, including GCSE Grade C. I would expect the majority of students sitting GCSE at the foundation level will find the topics covered in the series of DVDs within their capabilities. Students may well have met a number of the topics covered before and can consider viewing the DVD as a revision and a consolidation. In itself, not a bad thing. In the final exam, grades are awarded for a total score. To achieve a higher grade, then a higher score is needed. This can be achieved by ensuring that questions that may well be considered easy are answered correctly. The marks required for individual grades will vary from exam to exam and year to year. The boundary marks, as they are called, are discussed and agreed by the examiners after marking has been completed. The discussions include the difficulty level that the particular year's exam is felt to have. These are the boundary marks for one year's summer examination at foundation level. It would be expected that any year's boundary marks would not be dissimilar to these. It is theoretically possible that a grade C in GCSE mathematics at the foundation level can be achieved and not answer a single grade C rated question correctly. As can be seen from these boundary scores, a grade C could be achieved with a score of around 77%. This score can most definitely be achieved by getting all the grade D, E, F and G rated questions correct. Although we must agree that getting some GCSE grade C rated questions correct would be a good idea. This series of DVDs contains material more than suitable for the majority of students studying at Key Stage 3, and a number of topics covered are valid for students working at Key Stage 2.
Here is a guide to GCSE levels and National Curriculum Key Stage levels. This is only a guide, as the National Curriculum levels do not match up exactly with GCSE grades. GCSE Foundation level, grades C, D, E, F and G, link, but not perfectly, to National Curriculum levels 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2. Levels studied by most of those at Key Stage 3 and a number of those at Key Stage 2. It is suggested that they are viewed with an adult or an older student. The value is twofold. Firstly, to see if the younger student understands and is gaining from the experience. Secondly, and equally important, the adult can appreciate the content and the level of difficulty of material the different national curriculum levels and requirements for GCSE grades. Virtually all the questions used in the tutorials are included with the individual DVD. The idea is not that questions are answered before viewing the DVD, more that at a later date a student can remind themselves of precisely what has been covered on the DVD by looking over the printed questions and if necessary view selected parts of the DVD again. The Foundation DVDs can be bought as a set or individually. As I said before, each of the DVDs will contain the majority of the questions covered on the individual DVD. But as I say, this is not suggested that you work through those more that you can see what's on the DVD for later purposes. Also on the DVD is the contents and the target grade. All this information is also on the website.